Welcome back everyone. Today I'm sat with Metal Rain 300 and we're just having a little fly around some of his earlier builds. And uh, what's the name of this one, bud? It's the Pacifica Stalker. Ah, sweet. So this is an early gen. Yes, first generation. So tell me all about it. So I was it was when I was trying to come up with a design with my own shit, you know, come up with my own design. Yes. It, it was a bit difficult, I'm not going to lie. I went through several looks and stuff and ended up flying them into the sun out of <laughs> annoyance. <laughs> and then I actually, I was watching Apex Origins channel and I saw a, a star-shaped stealth ship he was working on. And it intrigued me a lot, so I pretty much, you know, made a version of it that would suit me. And, it actually just would slowly evolve to how my ships look to the now. Yeah, so this is like the progenitor, or whatever you call it. The proto, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so then what? which one is next for the following stage? I'm taking it this so, as AMCs, a pulsator, decent yes. power, shielding, etc. It can actually turn, it can actually have unlimited uh, stealth. Oh. Do you want uh, to demo that? I, yes. Let me uh, find the cloaker. I tried to make it full stealth and jamming, but it only, oh, it doesn't work anymore. Oh, yes it does. There we go. Oh, or not. I guess with the, all the updates and stuff, it stopped working. Yeah, I must admit though, the board I'm in at the moment, for some reason the other night, just suddenly started draining loads of power, and I moved it to the other side of the station I was next, next to, and it, and it was okay again. Yeah. So that's weird. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. Well, this, this was made literally right before they actually added pulsers in it, and that's actually why it has a pulsar on it, was to test them out. Right. Chances are the pulses have taken you over the uh, the block boundary for the energy stabilization. But Probably. yeah, so turning around, is it the one behind me which is next? Yes, the uh, Man of War. This is the Man of War. Do you want to go fly around it? Is it the one with beacons around it, yeah? Yes. Are they are they intended beacons? Uh, the, at first, I was just wanting the beacons around the edges and then just... It happened that they it glitched and made the floating ones behind it. But it looks fine, and, so... <laughs> yeah, I, I actually like the way it looks, so I kept it. And this is actually what the ship that I actually started adding more details to. And Yeah, yeah, I can see that on the hull here. Just getting a few close-ups for everybody. And, uh... Lots of turret points as well. Yeah, yeah, I, I did that, so... Because it's supposed to be a warship. And it's got a kind of okay interior. Okay, um, well, we'll check it out. I'll see you at the door. Yeah. Which, it's not big. It wasn't des It wasn't intentionally designed to have a, uh, a room, but I don't like having, I hate, I hate having a ship that has a, just a core and then a small door to get into the core. Yeah, I must admit, in my, after my first two weeks, I had to actually have a decent little room, at least a room, and then the room expanded into two rooms and then airlocks, and before you know it, it's like FTL. Yeah, <laughs> so, th so this was how I made the core. Uh, it was supposed to kind of look like the power unit connects to it, and it, you know. Yeah. So it would actually have an, a legitimate core. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And the AMCs on this are actually pretty decent. Give me, give me, give me a twirl. I'll I shall. Look and see, I'm stuck between you. There we go. Let's see. Oop. Let me uh, connect them. This one also has a uh, pulsers on it too, apparently. Hmm. <laughs> Which I didn't even know I added them to it. Are you firing? So, no, not yet. There oh, we go. There we go. Look, that's beautiful. So they literally run the entire length of the uh, antennas, <coughs> and that's what started me with the whole round idea. That looks great. 
And actually, they do a significant amount of damage because there's so many of them. I might actually they... have a project for you. I'll talk about that later. Okay. You give me ideas of that pattern. But yeah, that's that was the first really interesting pattern I made for it. And actually, I had a lot of people on the server I played on tell me it actually looks like a building if you uh, turned it with its uh, front side facing down. Let's, let's take a look. <laughs> Here, ready? Yeah, yeah. It does, no, it's fine. I'm already, I'm already, sorry, it's fine. It does. It also looks a little bit like a Saturn V. Yeah. Just without the nose cap. And unfortunately, because of the new updates, it's slow because all my ships are long and narrow. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that turret originally wasn't there. Well, whenever I try to get it on. Where's the turret? It wasn't there. It's up top, right up here. There was supposed to be more going the length oh, yeah. of the ship, but every time I try to load the turret so I could get it on the other sections, it would say the file is corrupted. So I just never had a chance to use the actual turret on it. But I think because of the, you know. So what was uh, the name of this one? Uh, Man of War. Man of War. So what came next in your uh, development? So next in my development is over here. It's called the uh, carrier, sh the Pacifica Carrier Ship Atlas. Yeah. And it solely was designed for carrying. All that space is for ships. <laughs> yeah, I think you went overboard, <laughs> but it's all good. Well, That's the whole point, isn't it? It looks, it's fine, mate. I'm only joking. <laughs> uh, it's, the reason for it's that like was because it has percent carrier. Good man. It has no weapons on it, so yeah, uh, exactly. Remember, so its weapons were the actual ships in it, but I never could find a good design for a, a drone ship. So. Well, actually, to be to be fair, that's a viable way to, you know, because most people have problems with them getting out, but you wouldn't have that problem with this. Yeah, and I and like what a... you've done up here with the holder on top of the Plex doors. That's really ingenious. Yeah, and actually, the the reason why I have it open out so much was because I noticed that the uh, the drones like to come out going clockwise, so they would all come out the left. <laughs> So I actually could you made do it a roll? A roll in it? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, what I mean is, like, could you open the door and then roll so they all go out clockwise? Uh, I haven't tested it out with drones yet. Oh, okay. I, because, uh, like I said, I was working on making the drones for it, but it just never happened. I'd like to see the bobbies be allowed to cloak, so we could get pirate black ops. You'd be like, yeah. and they just appear and shoot. You'd be like, oh. I'd say don't yeah. let them, don't let them use the, uh, you know, don't let them use the uh, cloak, uh, the jammer, just the cloaker. So then, yeah. you know, it, not, don't make it too hard for the newbies. The and newbies. if you actually look at the back, it's actually starting to form into the shape how all my uh, ships have, mm. except without the actual shell. It is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then actually, if you come into the core room, which is up front, coming, and it, what you see here, this uh, marking was my original faction uh, yeah. emblem, which it's pointing northwest. Okay. So, because it was you know Pacifica, Pacific Northwest. Oop. So this is the core room. Oh, this is. These cool. are. Oh wait, these are in AMC, oh, so it does have AMC's cool. in it. This is cool. So this was the uh, the idea of this core room was these were supposed to hold like like uh, holograms, like the lights on the actual bars coming out of the core. Mm -hmm. And this red one down here is supposed to be kind of like the what was it? The war computer. So it's kind of uh, like you know Gladys, how she had the multiple computers on her, mm. the, the AIs. That's what these uh, are supposed to represent. Different AIs for different systems on the ship. Cool. And then I had the one system right here for all my turrets, or not my turrets, my AMCs right down there. 
I tried to make it simple but also unique. So if you look up top, it has just all blue lighting. Yeah, it is. This is a really nice control room, to be fair. Yeah. Well, that's the purpose as well was keep it open. And then, of course, there's actually a little walkway right here so you can actually get up to the core. Yeah. Because that's one thing I also noticed that if you want to make a good core room, you, actually, you have to sacrifice actually being able to go up to the core. <laughs> and this ship has, I think, one million uh, uh, energy recovery a second. Because actually, the um, these antennas coming out, it's just all where all the power is. So I didn't have to sacrifice too much room for power. And actually, I'm quite curious. Let's check out the weapon system on it, because I didn't even know it had a weapon system on it anymore. I'm in position. Go ahead and fire. Oh yeah, that's Straight right, that's down right. down the middle. So it had, it actually, it has the circumference as well, and then I made, the, the ones that go around the actual circle, that go all the way around, were yeah. designed for close range. Yeah. And then those big ones that you see underneath are designed to go a lot farther. And if, if you look, you can actually see that. Yeah, the speed is quicker. That's interesting, yeah. Nice. And then, that's when you actually, as you saw the uh, Pacifica capital ship, which you already did the video on that. Mm. And that's what led to that. Cool, man. And then, of course, that led to the event horizon. And which leads us to our next ship, which is a second generation. Let's do it. Okay, so what's this one called, buddy? <laughs> this ship's called Atlas. Yep. And it's a cargo ship slash um, just all around youth ship. Uh, if you haven't noticed, uh, all I have a theme going on. Blue is a civilian type ship and red is a war type ship. Right. So that's uh. So you have a system. Like, yeah. And I might do a green as in, uh, might do a green one for, uh, um, what is it? Repairs. For, not repairs. Uh, uh, I guess environmentalist type stuff. <laughs> you know, like a you know biodome type ships and whatnot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Big fan. But, yeah, this ship right here was my first second oh my generation gosh. ship. This place is expansive. I'm inside. Oh, there's another door here. But I where I started. Wait a minute, did I just... I did, I just went in the door, yep. down the corridor, down the stairs, and came out the moment I started. Where are you? Yeah, that, that <laughs> door is what... That, I'm coming down right now. That door is for uh, cargo. Uh, so when you dock you... You do the cargo, and that's actually why you see cameras on my um, airlocks is because I don't dock with the conventional docking system. I actually make like a little dock, and then I use uh, a white hull. Mm. And what I do is I line up the camera with the light hull, and then you can walk across without, you know, the complications of a dock. Ah. And Just got to watch out for collisions with that technique, can't you? Yeah, I, I move it about half an inch out in all directions, so you'll still be able to walk across it without the actual collision. So far, it's been working. This is really so nice. This, I love it. Yeah. And actually, if you can tell, there's that antenna that you actually see on my bigger ship, Heavy Rain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice little feature to build on the side, actually. It's a nice little signature piece of detail you can put on your ships. Yeah, and all my faction modules go in the uh, navigation rooms because I feel they're a navigational purpose block. Yeah. And then I have a camera right here in my captain's chair, oh. which looks at this uh, screen right here, which is supposed to actually connect to the front <laughs> view. So Being the camera, like, yeah. Yeah, so it would Immersion. make sense to be the camera. Yeah. <laughs> And so, yeah. 
first generation or not first second generation ship yeah it looks really cool you got this is the thing with second generation ships they, they look cleaner but they have the same signature style that the builder's been using it's something yeah. that i've noticed anyway just after looking at people that have come back and shown me another of the revisions and then I, I i wanted to show some stuff off so i added uh the shield unit sticking out right there yeah 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 and a lot of my mo smaller ships have uh plex beacons in the actual engine area simply yeah. as a aesthetic to look like they're on it like does it works it does it works um we did you put them all underneath at one point did you build the end and then cover it and the glow still shone through or something Was no that one of yours? I, I don't know i always i always i always left them open right so you can actually like if you actually look in there you'll see that it goes back a bit so it has a little bit of depth to it yeah it works and then of course i used um uh, hanging lights for the antenna on top of the antenna right there and then to amplify that on heavy right now, i actually had to use blocks themselves and i had to come up with my own ideas to actually how to shape them I think what I'm going to do is do a quick run around Heavy Rain just because it's there and people can go, oh, I see, it's a big, this because this is a little Heavy Rain. So, shh, let's go check this one out quickly. So this one's the Heavy Rain. We previously covered this uh, quite, a, quite a few episodes ago now. But yeah, it's the same style, but bigger. And has a um, a hanger as well. Hangers, yeah. Which actually, what we weren't able to talk about was the slot that you'll see at the top of the hanger. What I always on, had on problems. The, what on heavy rain? On heavy rain, yeah. The reason for that slot is because re, uh, previous experiences with docks with my docking bays. Yeah. Trying to get in from the top, if my core is a little far oh, back, yeah, it'll actually, laser. You know, it would close the door my and ship. glitch. Yeah. Yeah. So I left a slot open so you can actually get to the dock yeah. without. I noticed like, that actually. I noticed that um, as long as you can get out, you only need to shoot through a hole in a bit of a bit of, a bit of hull, and you'll teleport into yeah. your dock. <laughs> so actually, I'm, I'm you doing that with all my hangers. <laughs> But, but the doors are a problem, yeah. Because they can close. Yeah. But yeah, that's awesome. All right, well, cheers for showing me those uh, all those ships, dude. And uh, be sure to come back and show us more in the future. And uh, yeah, I just thought we'd cover a couple to show the evolution from start to finish for Mr. Metal Rain in his ship development process and uh, thanks for watching, I've got more coming up for you next so uh, don't go away and I'll see you soon.